Hi, Darwin. You're in the way. Yep, you are. Good evening and welcome once again to Techies Talking Tech tonight. We are back from a hiatus because we were on the road and then there was a holiday and then we were on the road. Life, yeah. life, life is complicated. Uh, but we are back uh, to talk about tech uh, mostly at night. Yes. It's, it's, it's dusk right now, so it's, it, 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 that counts. It's thoroughly dusk right now, uh, and so that counts. We, we are in the middle of kind of the main season for technology and for games. We have been for a while, and so we, we are slowly working through our backlog of things. Which there are a lot of things. Which there are a lot of things, uh, many of which are, are quite expensive. But uh, we start tonight uh, with a game, game for the children. <laughs> I'm told, although I this don't one, believe them. This one is for the children. This one is for the children. We have uh, Skylanders Superchargers. Um, it came out a while ago, but... Uh, you're, you're popular. I'm popular, but I'm ignoring it. It came out a while ago. We have the special edition, the... What is it called? It has the a stupid dark. name. The Dark uh, Edition. That's what it is, the Dark Edition. The key to the Dark Edition, as I understand it, is you get an extra vehicle. Uh, so the base edition comes with two Skylanders and one vehicle. This comes with an extra vehicle, and that's like $15 savings, and a bunch of other things. You get a um, uh, used trophy to race as chaos, um, and so that's what this is. Chaos is a, the bad guy, I believe. Um, and, and so I bought the Wii U version specifically because um, you get cross-branding, which is new for Skylanders. You get Donkey Kong, or mm -hmm. Bowser, depending which edition you get, and a special Nintendo vehicle. And apparently these, or not apparently, according to the box, these things are also Amiibo. So we'll uh, have to test this out. Yes. So um, we'll do an unboxing here on the uh, yeah, we're live gonna, on the internet. We're actually going to do an unboxing You're, live on the if internet. You, so. If you flip to this camera, yeah, I will I'll hand you the knife. Hand me the knife. Um, and I'll, okay, so we'll go to the handheld view. Uh, which is always dangerous. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna draw my weapon, um, and so we're gonna draw carefully. We're gonna cut like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a knife fight. Okay, so we open up, and as ever in any children's product, it's just packet packaging galore. And so, so this is this is the you know we got we have all the the Skylanders, and then the Skylanders slash amiibo, which uh, is is actually like a color. Yeah, to, to kind of I guess distinguish it. Well, so the dark, it. the dark is because it's this. They would be normal Donkey Kong colored and normal Spyro colored right. in the non-dark edition. So this is the special edition because what well, I'm a sucker. Yeah, as you we've are known a sucker. That's for, true. For years. All right, what we got here? Okay, so we've got the portal, and this portal is bigger this year because, or it looks bigger to my eyes because you have to be able to put a dude and his vehicle. Oh, um, his or okay. her vehicle on the thing, and so let's claw. I'm going to move the box. Yeah, move. Oh wait, we have a game. Uh, the, the, we're not done with the box yet. There we go. So I've liberated the portal, and so you've you know it, it's plastic and, and has USB. Um, all this thing is is a fancy uh, gussied up RFID reader. Yep. Um, yep. My bad. Yeah. Um, and so and so there and this is a leftover feature from last year for the. The trap for Trap Force. Um, they all have really stupid names. They have stupid names. The Trap Force was kind of like the po had the Pokemon esque thing where you could capture bad guys, and use them. We've got. Oh, I ripped it. Ripping. That's what we have. Oh, and this is the special Dark Edition poster, probably right. Right. Probably. That you ripped. That I ripped. Oh man. Um. So we've got this cool poster and then it's got all of the Skylanders and their vehicles. I guess so you can put it up on your wall. Yep. Uh, suitable for framing. I'm sure. <laughs> we have battle chest cards, which I don't even I don't even know. It's probably ruined the value. Uh, I have a Spitfire that does 50 of something and 280 of something. I've got a Stealth Elf, uh, which does 60 of something and has 260 of something. Um, and a back for it. 
Yep. Got some instructions. Okay. Hey, what about the rest of the box? Oh, we need to get that game out of the box. There it so is. there is actually a disc with this. And you can kind of see that's what Donkey Kong would look like normally. Uh, but because we that, have the dark edition. Because we have the dark edition, we, we have a super fancy Donkey Kong. Um, put my no, I may need my knife. Okay, so let's but let's free our amiibo. I mean, bust them out of well, uh, I guess. all the above. Yeah, bust them out of the packaging. Don't hurt yourself. I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm in danger You're of the splash stabbed. Sudden. Yeah. <laughs> and by splash, I mean blood. The bloody circle. Okay. Whoa. We've got... Okay, so this is DK's vehicle. And you'll notice the wheels actually spin. That's a nice touch. So that's a nice touch. Um, but of course, the figures are basically still statues. They're attached to their base. Um... And the way Skylanders work is each figure has an element mm -hmm. type. Um, so this appears to be a grass Pokemon. I mean Skylander. <laughs> um, and so you need certain types of Skylanders, grass or fire or whatever, to reach certain areas. Interesting. And now you need each vehicle has a type. So car or plane or boat. And you need certain vehicles to reach different parts. And so oh, that's, the, interesting. that's the, the incentive to buy more figures. Of course. Um, because and in some ways plastic I, toys. In some ways I bought, bought the wrong pack because I have two cars. And the other packs come with a car and a plane. Oh. Uh, but I really wanted Donkey Kong over Bowser. And so there's this where I can race the bad guy. And then we've got this, this one. This is a pretty cool looking truck. Also, car thing. also moves. It also the wheels also move, and then I've got this like mecha spiral. You know, this started out as a Spyro the Dragon thing, and this appears to be Spyro himself. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> okay, and so the, and then you have this one. I I think the characters are engaging. You know, I really like the character design on it, mm -hmm. and. You've got this one's some, obviously fire. So he's a fire type Pokemon, Skylander. <laughs> Whatever. It all ties together. It all ties together. And so what you do is you hook up this base station to um, the Wii U. So in this case, the Wii U, although it's available for literally every platform, including Xbox 360 and PS3. That's ridiculous. Well, the graphics, you'll see, the graphics are not exactly intense. So I am going to shift shots, and I'm going to go hook this up to the Wii U. Um, which we have handily, which I have prepared earlier. <laughs> you'll, you'll pull the Wii U out of the oven, as it were. Uh, and Magically here's one, complete. Here's one that I have prepared earlier. So what happens if I tap Donkey Kong on the... Did that do anything? No, it didn't. But there's no game in right now. So maybe mm. at some point we need to try in with Smash and see what happens. Okay, I need to put the disc in. I could play some Smash. It's, down, it's downstairs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the disc in. Insert Skylanders. Okay. I'm going to throw to HDMI mode. Maybe. You got plenty of length on that uh, USB if you want to pull that over here. Yeah. So we're going to pull the trap portal. I don't even know. Okay. So... Um, let's go ahead there you go. and, uh, I got you something. Okay. We're preparing. Oh no, there's an update. This is what you get for a live unboxing. You then get a live update. You might want to put the knife away, Jimmy. Yeah, that's, that's dangerous. I mean, we can let that update and then we can flip to one of the other things we're doing. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long this update takes. Yeah. How long it even takes to load so it tells me what the update is. I love modern video games. Okay. Oh, is this a system update? Oh, man. We may be in trouble. Time remaining, estimating. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> nice try, Trey. Whoa! Got some, I, need, I need some game audio in the studio. You got it? It's, it's pretty rocking. 
Okay. Nothing happened. I'm disappointed. Okay, well, okay, look. Instant gratification. Hi, Activision. This is some Activision Activision. I mean, this is basically their... What? Okay, that looks... Vicarious Visions, okay, the okay. developer. Gotta give him some props. Okay. You see, you see all the different elements. So press. There's, there are a number of them. So press A to begin. Apparently, I have a Skylanders account of some kind. Okay. So we're gonna. I figure it's a kids I want game. Adventurer. So we're gonna be an adventurer. We're not an expert by any means. Nope. And I am not. already having nightmares about how many figures I'm gonna end up buying. So let's uh. Let's go with this. Okay, I've accepted. Okay, load screen. And sparkly lights. Stargate. We're the portal master. I am the portal master. <laughs> and so that's the bad guy, and we have his little doohickey. So we can racist him. Did Man, you say racist him? Yeah, he's probably racist. Wow. For centuries, meddling do-gooder portal masters like you have been sending. Well, really, only for like the past six years. Uh, details. I mean, centuries and like human hours. <laughs> That have been sunk into this. Yeah. Some total of time that has been sunk into this series, yes. And percent of GDP. Interesting, the bad guy is a child? It's hard to tell. Man child? Man child. Wait, there's more. Those are. Characters we know from previous games. So that's why we need new characters? Look, dude, I don't know. Because they've been captured? I don't know. Well, hopefully you don't need any planes early on, otherwise you're a Yeah, either way. I think you do. I think we're hosed. No, there's no way they would sell you a $100 set that you'd then have to go buy immediately buy another um, vehicle. We'll see. Immediately. Now, maybe a couple hours in. We'll see, dude. The Animus? It's, it is the Animus. It's Assassin's Creed. So these are your friends from previous games. This is basically... Yeah, so now we're Assassin's Creed. Okay. Good. I know this. Destiny? Yes, it's me. Yes. Alright, how do I get... Super, place the supercharger vehicle on the portal. And so, I've Wait. got my vehicle... Land vehicle. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. It's working. The vehicle is opening a rift into Skylands. There we go. So there it is. Dark Barrel Blaster. Three plates. Barrel Bracer. Blast. Okay. Please place a Skylander on the portal. And so I have my, my DK Skylander Mebo. Um, oh, right now it's in a, Oh, it's got a switch here on the bottom. Right now it's in Amiibo mode. We're going to set it to Skylanders mode. Oh, interesting. I was wondering why that, that rotated. Yeah, so that Amiibo... Okay, so now we're in Skylanders mode, and we're going to... Okay, I've placed DK oh, on yep, the portal. Oh, yep, it recognized him immediately. Supercharged. Dark. And so that... Because the vehicle and the dude matches, now I get a supercharged special bonus. Okay, we may oh, be in sick. charge. We're in control now. Interesting. I'm hurrying. Yeah, did that. Been driving racing games longer than you've been alive. Skylander, dude. Jimmy, we're, we're burning out here. I've got some serious smoke. Yep. 
Remember, don't don't break and uh, accelerate at the same time. Oh, I can't. There's like a ramp or something on the right there. Yeah. Isn't that Hydro Thunder? <laughs> Sorry. That's what I always think of when I see a ramp like that. Yes, Kronk. I don't know what his real name is, but I'm pretty sure it's the voice actor that did Kronk. Squeak, squeak it, squeak, squeak it. But we're gonna go. Gonna pick up those ones. I like I like watching. Oh man. Oh man. I, I think I'm. Are you sure this is a children's game? Because I feel like people, you know, that were very high would also enjoy this game. I mean, that's true of all children things. You know, apparently, you know, people who are high also enjoy Miss Frizzle. Um, I wouldn't know. I just like Miss Frizzle, but I'm sorry. I also Miss Frizzle. The Magic School Bus. Oh yes. Uh, we fell into the dark lands. This appears to just be like get lots of coins. I can't. Ah, we initiated the visual uplink. Okay. Hi, Kronk. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I'm on some kind of acid trip. So they're in jail. But they're helping us. How? They have a... They've contacted us on a... Skylander smartphone. <laughs> An S phone? S phone. Galaxy S phone. An SS phone? That's something entirely different. No, yeah, that's different. Let's not go with that one. Skylanders in the SS phone? Uh, is this like Nazi zombie mode? Yep. You saw that right there, right? Yeah. That's a Nazi zombie if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Okay, our vehicle looks pretty sweet. Okay, so now we're on foot. Triggers don't seem to do anything. Let's jump. Let's throw my barrel. <laughs> God, this character is slow. Okay, I'm just spamming A. Or... <laughs> okay. Oh, what why? Was that? Why? That was the Y button. Okay. I'm not a Skylander. I'm a. I'm a real boy. Oh, there! I got a gold thing, and some chompies showed up, and. Well, this is pretty epic, I have to say. I mean, I like the art design. It, I wouldn't call it. I mean, it's technically it's really muy básico, but okay. So Can we're gonna hit him from there. We're gonna. Um, if I didn't suck at aiming, yeah. Oh, we got him! Look at that. The combat. Oh, you got field. the key. Combat feels really satisfying. Okay, right trigger. Oh, you mean right bumper. Thanks for saving us. There are other that man's name is Hugo. Could use your help too. <laughs> Hugo drive, we should probably do something about that. Right? We should probably do something about that. There must be a main flagship <laughs> that's controlling the fleet. If we can reach it, Maybe we can override the controls and save everyone. Okay. That sounds awesome. Flynn. Let's totally do that. All right, Skylander. Let's get topside to take a look around and get our bearings. Let's do that. Let's break through that block to get out of this detention level. Okay. Hulk, smash. DK, smash. 
Really? I just have the key? It's a oh, hacking mini game. Mini game. Use the left stick to move the gremlin through the lock. Collect bolts to earn additional stardust. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to not hit the pinball things. Uh, let me go with you. no. So I'm gonna be real gentle, like. I don't know what Stardust does. But I want some. <laughs> I like that little spin move. That was, that was good. Thanks. Remember, handbrake turn. I'm like S rank at this game, man. Come on. Okay, hitting right bumper. I like how everything's engine themed. Well, I have wire lock. <sighs> Whatever, man. Okay. Sure. There's a lock picking. God, video games. What's happening? I don't know, man. <laughs> Talk to Flynn. That ship is eating everything. I had a roommate like that once. Sure, it wasn't drinking everything. That too. His book is glowing. It's a glowing book. Master Eon left this with me. He said it was for the Skylander. Master Eon? Greetings, Portal Master. Help us, Obi Wan Kenobi. Your only, only hope. hope. Have been taken captive, and my worst fears are confirmed. Yeah. To chaos, the darkness has returned, and Skylands now faces its greatest threat. Chaos has used the power of the dark. I mean, there's definitely a children's game. Just keep oh, talking. sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, of course. But I think as children's games go, it's not so bad. And if you like action figures, again, I go back to my age-old point. If you like action figures, oh, you can also, there's an upgrade mechanic to your vehicle. So you can upgrade your vehicles. Oh, okay. And spend points to make it better and stuff. And so that's pretty cool, too. That's cool. Yeah. And the vehicles look cool. And I, I mean, I like Disney because it's the licensed prop properties. Mm -hmm. But I like this one because it's, because it's not. And how original the characters and the figures and how cool they make them look. Right. Yeah, and the figures definitely, like, they're definitely nice-looking figures. Yeah. Yeah. It is, I think that it's a missed opportunity that they don't have them, like, movable. Yeah, and see, that's where the LEGO, LEGO Dimensions is so cool, mm. because they're just straight-up minifigs, and you just pull them off their bases, and they're just normal minifigs. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. The other problem is that how many different like of these types of systems are there at this point? There's probably well, there's three main. There's the three main. The Disney Infinity. Disney Infinity. Skylanders. Skylanders. Lego Dimensions. There then, are other ones, but those are the three that matter. And then you have Amiibos. Well, you have Amiibos, but I don't. But that's a different kind of thing. But yeah. That's Motley Meadows getting torn apart. Look, some people are in trouble. Okay. What do you want me to do about it, Hugo? Okay. We have to do something. Yep. Have to help them before they get pulled into that rift, Skylander. Got it. This is a land vehicle dock. We need to use a land vehicle to save the. Got that? We have one of those. We have two of those. We're gonna need to go buy. After the show, we're gonna be going uh, buying some figures. <laughs> I need an air figure vehicle. Going, I see this now. We're going back to GameStop. That guy's gonna look at you like you're crazy. Hopefully, the shift change will have occurred, right? Well, I can return my yeah, my other thing. That's a pinata. 
Ten crowns. Dude, this better only be one currency. They converted crowns to uh, coins. Where are you going? Heck if I know. Back, apparently. Okay, so we're supposed to be going this way. I gotta smash some barrels. All right, there's your uh, there's your ship. Okay. Let her rip. That feels good. Oh, we need to shoot. Oh man. This does not control in any sane fashion. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is. Got um, some uh, sort of unlock. <laughs> I, say, I don't know what that is, but hopefully it's I good. I mean, I, I just, I just tail slid and killed enemies. I'm just spamming the shoot stuff button. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was pretty sweet. We missed. <laughs> okay. Less shooty, more drivey. Yeah. Focus on like. I don't know what that was, but that was kind of awesome. Okay. Oh, we missed again. Okay. Tail slide. Oh, I gotta shoot some stuff. So that's like a shield. Oops. God, I'm, I'm Oops. bad at a children's game. We're just, we're just bad at video games. Also, the handling is... You're too used to precise handling. <laughs> I'm a Forza Mario Kart kind of guy. I got him. Okay, good. We're gonna. There's another one over there. Yeah, I see him. Okay, but hold on, I gotta. Okay, so if I just if I hit the X button, I get this, which is kind of like a mine that I can leave, and then it seems like people can run into them and get killed. A is reverse. B doesn't do anything, and Y is end the world by shooting all of the barrels. Got him. Got him. Three okay. of three. Okay. Now, okay. Boss battle? Probably. Oh, yep. Boss battle. You ready for this? I'd recommend moving. Okay, so there's. I've got some homing to my let's end the world with barrels button. So I just left some mines. I mean, this is a pretty sweet vehicle if it controlled. Half as well as it looked? Well, I like its weapons. Controls. Do you like these controls? If, <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> like these You can use fewer buttons. <laughs> fewer buttons is not the problem. <laughs> Let's see what the control. Control. Portal master. I am the portal master. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Button only scheme. Accelerate. Okay, I just... I don't think you changed anything, but that's fine. I don't fine. want to change anything. I... Okay. Oh, there's a chest up there. Go get it. Uh, apparently... Okay, that's cool. Is this drugs? Like I said. Okay. That's. I mean, that's oddly. <laughs> that's oddly satisfying. Um, preview. Bluster. Oh, this is just a preview for our specific vehicle. Okay, I like our vehicle. All in all, it just drives like gar gar garbage. Old school. Han handling is actually decent, apparently. So we're going to equip. Barrel blaster. Oh, no, I hit the wrong... It, Press well, X to skip. Right, well, this is a Wii U, and so X is where Y is on the Xbox 360 yep. and Xbox One, which are my main consoles. Uh -huh. Apparently, if you press up on the D-pad, you use it. Supercharger Skylanders can press the <laughs> customization button to customize 
Oh, what's that puzzle piece? That? I go back, back towards us. Yeah, you. When 900 years old, your reach looks so good. You're a lot. A good spot. I'm just waiting for you to go off the edge of the map. I got it. I'm really precise handling. <laughs> now, 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 now what? Okay. Ah, gate's open. Head back to the fleet. Mm, bunch of Chewy. That's probably a good idea. I'm of. Hugo, come on, you can do this. Um, okay, okay, here goes. Ah, uh, we can drive through houses. Yes. I hope there's an achievement for that. I'm strong here. I'm of the earth element. Um, oh shoot, who, Kwame? Who is the earth in Captain Planet? Oh, Wasn't I don't Kwame? Remember. It's the African American guy. Yeah, I think you're right. Who is Hart? That's that, really the question. That was the uh, South American guy who, who had the monkey. What was his name? Oh, I'm shooting. Just, just, I'm just gonna spam Y. Your barrel blaster or whatever you call it is. Because the American dude was Hart. No, it was fire rather. Treetop whistle Wheeler, horn. his name. Okay. It increases your like top quit. speed, I think. No, shoot. Oh, God. Ugh. Hit X again. Hit X again. Get me. We're going to equip it. Whatever. We're just going to keep equipping stuff. Yep. I don't care about horns. Or maybe I do, but... They, they do change the uh, characteristics of your vehicle, it seems. Remember, more cowbell. The answer is always more cowboy. And never don't crash Zoom. As I tell my son all the time. Never don't crash Never zoom. don't crash Zoom. Also in this game, never don't spam Y. <laughs> Woo! Woo-hoo! Great balls of fire! <laughs> for, for, say what you want about this game. It is oddly satisfying. Land star. Okay, I could probably pay, but clearly, am, and am going to play this game for hours. Um, but we should probably s stop. Switch to one of the other things. Switch to one of the the other things. Um, so we're going to say. Oh, I wonder if this did go to sleep. We're still going to say goodbye to the to the Skylanders for now. Um, maybe we'll check back with them um, on a in a future show um, if I unlock more things. Um, I'll say this though, it's a, uh, oh, I'm ruining its brain. Okay. Um, it's enjoyable. Um, okay, so we have, as you can probably see already in the shot, we have, uh, another device that we're going to get to test. I'm sure three. Um. Or two other devices. Two other devices. We have, uh, the Surface Book, um, Microsoft's newest laptop tablet. Thing. thing. And so this is Jimmy's Surface Book. Uh, you can see in all of its glory. So a talk now this is in, in talk desktop through. mode, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start it from, from closed again. So this is the, uh, the Surface Book um, from, from Microsoft. Uh, it is a 13.5 inch laptop um, with removable screen. Um, so as you can see, I have the uh, pen magnetically attached to the side it has a very satisfying click. Um, and um, I think it was uh, Paul Throtter, Mary Jo Foley that pointed out that you can actually drag it across that's, the table. That's pretty crazy. With the strength of the magnet. And so this is, I just have it set to whatever the Bing um, default, that's as far back as this goes. Okay, so, um, that's, so that, that would be a little annoying because my MacBook Pro, which is kind of its main competitor, 
Um, yeah, actually, I we can we'll, do we a can, side by side. We here. can pan over. It's funny how this works out. And so this is a a 15 inch MacBook Pro that obviously also has a discrete graphics card. And so I can go all the way back like that. This is as far back as I can go. Now that's yeah. mainly because the uh, the lid of this is actually the entire computer. Right. This and is the battery and the um, discrete GPU. The discrete GPU, yeah. which this does have a discrete GPU, which we're gonna we're gonna shut that off here in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I do not have Windows Hello set up on this yet. I have not done that. I haven't. I've heard mixed things at best um, about Windows Hello. So this is it in um, laptop mode. So it has the fulcrum hinge, which let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Uh, you can see it kind of lays back as you open it up. Um, I find that I haven't really noticed the fulcrum hinge when it's in this mode um, because it's a laptop. I mean, when you look at it from the front, it looks like a laptop. Right. And it has very good uh, stability. Now, the other thing is... How is its, how is its lap ability, Jimmy? Um, it's actually quite lappable. So, here, I'll, I'll show it. I mean, see, it's a little tippy when you get it kind of near your knees. But if you keep it on your knees, it's, it, it's quite lappable. Yeah, there you go. Um, I mean, it's very kind of stable and it doesn't move around a lot. It feels really, you know, I've, I've had I some hand. I screw. I've had <laughs> some, I hate when that happens. Um, I've had some, some experience with it. It feels very solid. Yeah, it's, um, it has that same magnesium from the uh, Surface Pro line. Um, so it has that high quality feel you'd expect. And um, it has, actually, if you look at it, you can see there's a slight um, indentation here, mm -hmm. probably to assist with opening it when that makes uh, sense. when you're using it, and um, it's thinner at the front of the computer than it is at the back. Yeah, but very allow, it's, it's subtle. But it's you a very kinda, subtle. You kind of see it, uh, but so it's also mainly shot. in the center. You can see yeah. it, yeah, uh, because there's a GPU under here. Right. The the keyboard, the island style keyboard, is very nice. So it's coming from my uh, Yoga, which had a very good keyboard, it had the little clamshell keys. We've kind of moved away from that. Yeah. Um, I mean, even the, the Mac keyboards have moved away from that. Um, this has a really nice, like, tactile key yeah. travel. And uh, it takes a tiny little bit of getting used to. But once you get used to it, I mean, it makes all of the fact that I have this and my mechanical keyboard at home makes my work keyboard feel very mushy. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, um, I can believe that. Which is not something that I had before. So anyways, the, the party trick, the main party trick of the device is you hold down this button and it snaps off. Tells you ready to detach. And uh, that, that does take a little bit of getting used to the removing action of that. Um, but once it's detached, as long as you hold down the base, it's very easy to detach it. Um, and I have it set up to ask me just flip to tablet mode. So, you know, this is tablet mode of, of Windows 10, which is I have all the live tiles going. Um, let's show the, I actually like the New York Times crossword puzzle is, is a very good one to show kind of the, um, the pen stuff. The thing I was struck by every time I hold the have, go I mean, hands on with the service book is just how thin the tablet part is. It's incredibly thin. It's incredibly thin and light, um, the tablet part. The other thing is that the, the pen support is, is very good. So I, I don't know uh, what this word is, but we'll just, or whatever. Uh, so I can write in and it'll change it oh, to. Oh, cool. So it does, yeah, it does the handwriting recognition. Uh, it does the handwriting recognition. Uh, the New York Times crossword app is pretty good about that. Um, and the eraser works. This is, of right. course, the new pen which we've, yeah, we've which had we've on talked before. Yeah, which we've talked about um, before. All in all, it's it's a great device. It has has all of the features that you would expect of a, a device of this caliber. Um, the other thing that I find myself doing a lot, I don't actually use it by itself a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, the battery um, life's pretty limited in that. Three hours. But I'll, I'll put it like this, where it has this nice uh, rounded edge because of the you know same kind of hinge thing you got going has that nice rounded edge, but it's very good to hold. Yeah. Uh, like you would like a folded back book or a folded back magazine. Yeah. And so, and then you can use the pen and, or your finger or whatever. So, and this is honestly the most, most of how I used my, my yoga was like this. If I right. was using it in like a, a, a touch screen mode. So, um, here, let me flip back to the, close that. My one complaint is it doesn't appear that there's a, detach button in the uh, tablet mode. Um, I have battery, Wi-Fi, volume, and messaging, and action center, and all these things. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have the detach button. But there is a software button. So you can just 
And then, okay, and there you go. And of course, we need to note that that click is not a mechanical yeah, click. Yeah, that that click is completely audio, but you would never know it. Right. It and sounds very. It's, it's so. A, it's a good foley effect, but it is a foley so, effect. It's so so satisfying. Um, this is of course the Surface Connect, uh, which is what they use for the the charger. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually here. I've got the charger right here. You can actually just plug the charger right into this, okay. and it'll charge directly. So if you were using this in, on your couch and you wanted longer battery life, you can charge this directly. Right, or if I was in a meeting and it left the keyboard in my office, right. which is not an unusual scenario for Right, me. you can plug this in directly. Okay. Um, I, I do have a gripe with the length of the charging cable. Sure. It's a little short. Yeah. Um, and I don't, like, they. you can't actually buy extras of the Surface Book charger right now. Huh. Um, I looked on Microsoft's website and they don't have them available. Okay. So, and we're attached. Um, now the, you the don't problems, get the click when you reattach, them. right? Which is really disappointing. Um, I, yeah. The, so to me, the, the chief problem is the weirdness of that attach reattach feeling. There's like five things you've got to line up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, it I feels can show a that little. Again. It feels a little fiddly. So yeah, you have these two, which I think are mostly just guides. Right. Um, and then these are the actual connectors. Yeah. Um, so it's just it's not. And so and kind of got to line it up and then... Yeah, that re especially the reattachment um, just feels a little weird. So I've, I've been having some issues. So this past uh, beginning of the week, they updated it so that that driver wouldn't crash. Okay. Um, the Intel driver, which is apparently a Skylake problem. It's not a, a specific so Surface problem. So it's a problem, problem. With the, specifically with the processor. It's line. a processor Windows 10 problem. It's okay. not a... Uh, Microsoft Surface problem. Okay. So I installed that update. I haven't had the driver crash since then. And the other thing I was having was um, here. Let me go back to the home screen. Um, turn back on. Um, it would turn on, and you'd have a weird like box like this. So it messed up the resolution. So it I, it wasn't even that because it would show the desktop behind mm -hmm. it, and then it would just pop in the center, um, which I, I can't completely explain that. Um, I mean, so some of the other things, this is Windows 10. Um, I was able to install, I was able to log in and it pulled all my settings from the, um, the yoga. Okay. So that was nice. Um, all in all, it's a high quality device. Um, but I've most recently I've had problems where it doesn't, I had it set up to automatically switch into tablet mode right. whenever I disconnected it and, um, I'd reconnect it and it would flip back and forth between tablet mode and non-tablet mode. Hmm. And I couldn't figure out why. Yeah. And I don't think it's a physical problem with the device. I think that they may have changed the sensitivity of that connection. And so I'm you know, slipping back and forth more as a result of that. So overall, how, I mean, how long have you been living with the device? So I've had the device now for about a week and a half. And okay. I did travel with it okay, so, uh, this past week. So what's kind of your verdict? You have the, it's a Core i5 um, with the, the discrete graphics card. i5, 256, discrete graphics card. Okay, so... What, what's your overall impression? Is it worth what is a hefty price tag? The problem with premium devices is you always have to weigh the premium price tag against the value of the device, right? So could you get something that does the same thing this does for cheaper? Yes. Yes. However, it's going to look like some cyborg future. Yeah, device. no, it'll, it'll, it'll either all, look like a, they're all what gaming it, devices. What it, it'll, it's, it's either a gaming device or a super chunky corporate workstation. Correct. You know, it's it's one or the other, and, and so, none of neither of those are particularly appealing as a design exercise. But they're not trying to be. So what I think that this achieves is it balances the two sides of what people are looking for, right? Okay. So people want something that they can use as a home computer and something that can use as a high power work machine. Yep. For most people, this is not gonna be something you need for a work machine. Sure. Because most people do not actually need dedicated graphics. Um, Although they sell plenty of models of that without dedicated right. graphics. They, they sell uh, two lower tier versions without dedicated graphics. Um, I think that if you're looking at those devices, it's a hard sell sure. to say, don't just go with the Surface Pro 4. Yeah. Um, although this is a fantastic keyboard, the battery life on this thing is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the other thing I've experienced. When I'm doing light, you know, web browsing, word processing, uh, when I'm not doing anything that's super processor intensive, I, I get about, um, so I, I had it off the charger all day on Thursday. Okay. And I used it for about four hours in the morning, 
turned it off, had it off during the day, and then I used it for four to five hours traveling. Mm -hmm. And I still had like about 30% battery nice. when I got back. So the, the whole 12 hours of battery life, it's not exactly that, but it's, it's gonna be get pretty close. Um, when you have a lot of you know browser tabs open and things like that, it's gonna get less battery life. Or when you're running games like I was doing before, right. you, I mean, that battery's just gonna drop just, like a rock. Well, sure, when you're, I mean, I have that same experience um, in the MacBook Pro, which right. again, to me, is the comparable device. I always like the MacBook Pro. Can I get a cheaper thing with that much horsepower? Yes, but MacBook Pros are well designed. Um, oh, you, the other thing I, I forgot to mention is that the, the screen is beautiful. So it's a yeah. 3,000 by 2,000 pixel screen. Nice. Um, 13 and a half inch, right? And it's obviously a three by two screen. And it has, Literally. it'll show 98% of the um, RGB spectrum. Wow. And so for photo editing, yeah. which I've done on this, and in fact I have Lightroom on this, um, go ahead and open that up. Um, it shows, I don't know what, oh great, go away Adobe. I don't know what, let's see, these are random pictures that my dad took um, while he was traveling, but you'll see. Rome? Uh, no, I think that these are somewhere in like Germany. Yeah, no, 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 that, never mind, that looks like German. <laughs> um, but I mean, you can see that the, the, the colors are, I mean, uh, it's gonna, maybe it's gonna be, you can see <laughs> I can that see. the colors not, are there. It's very crisp. Yeah, no. Um, and, and it's handling the, the kind of flipping through my, my photo catalog fairly well. Yeah, it's pretty snappy. Um, which is something that th this was the main reason I got this computer was so I could replace my, my main device with it. Mm -hmm. So, which is a high powered desktop. Right. Um, which is getting turned basically into your gaming console computer hooked up to your television. Well, right, with all my, I have, I ripped a bunch of movies and, and TV shows and things like that to it as well. Um, and so having it as that right. is valuable and having it as the uh, cold storage for all these pictures is valuable. But, um, and I'm just gonna have to keep a working catalog on my, my machine. Right. which is what um, I do as well. Which is what most people do. Um, but anyways. One of the other things you'll notice, though, and I, I didn't point it out when we had Lightroom open. So when Lightroom is open, it uses the dedicated graphics because right. it's been programmed to do that. And you'll see the little detach. Um, here, I'll open it back up again. Um, Let's see if this will read. So if you look down at the detach button, there's a little circle on it. And in fact, I, it, when I hit the detach button, it'll tell oh, me I, see. Yeah. I can't close it. It says, if you can't really see, it says, uh, please resolve before detaching um, so once I close, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Once I close it, And then it detach. goes, and then it goes. Okay, cool. So, that, I mean, that's why, so, I mean. So, it won't let you. Overall, I mean, that's why. It's not going to let you break it. That's why it's a software release rather than a hardware release. Because of the dedicated GPU, you don't want to give it the option to just attach it random because that would blow the thing away software-wise. It'd and be I, like, ah, I don't have the hardware I need to do this thing I was already doing, and it would just and I, tank and I think, the thing. And I think that that is something that a lot of the reviewers haven't picked up on because a lot of the reviewers are not using things like Photoshop, things right. like they're not actually, or and a lot of the review models didn't have the GPU in it. Right. And so it doesn't make sense when you're looking at it. And I've, and I've seen a Dell. Also, when the top set of batteries, you have that same thing. Right, it won't let you open it. It won't let you detach it. Um, because Which is fine. Mo the majority of the batteries in the base and the GPUs in the base. But the processor, the RAM, and all that kind of stuff are up in the, up in the top level. Right. And so, um, I mean, I guess to round it out, there's a, a mini display port on this side as well as the charger. Okay. It's on the right-hand side of the device. Um, I have two USB ports and the SD card reader on okay. the left-hand side. So it, it has, um, and it also hooks up with the Surface Dock, the $200 right, thing. And I've, I've, I'm probably going to get the Surface Dock. Me too. Because uh, that, is, that is definitely a very nice way to handle that solution. Um, I, I guess back to your original question of is it worth it? If you're looking at something that you want this kind of build quality, right. and you want something in a laptop form factor, ignore the fact that the screen detaches. It's a fantastic laptop. Okay. Um, I think that most people that are looking at something like a 13-inch a MacBook, which does not come with a dedicated Correct. GPU. It's just the Iris graphics. This is going to be plenty. Sure. Because um, you're, not, you're not really using that for high-power computing. 
Um, if portability is your top concern, this thing is still not light. It's still 3.3 pounds. But it's a pound lighter than the competitive MacBook Pro? Uh, but, which not is a, quite. It's the like 15 a, inch device. Right, okay, yeah. So the 15 inch Pro is, which is like four and a half four and pounds. pounds yeah. This is 3.4. Okay. So this is lighter. But it's a smaller um, screen. You, smaller screen. It's not a, the MacBook Pro comparison is not totally apples to apples because of the screen size difference. I've got a 15 inch laptop and a higher powered processor. I would argue that that's a better like full on production machine. I think that this straddles the line better between you're going to use it for production but you're also going to use it as a personal device. See, And before, that's something I think that this achieves that other laptops for me have not achieved. So back when I was in college, I had access to like edit bays with Mac Pros and this whole thing. And I did light editing on, a, I had a black MacBook mm -hmm. um, back at the time. What I really wanted was a 13 inch MacBook that had a dedicated GPU. So it would be easier to do small, short form HD editing knowing that I would have an edit bay to do my full on editing. Right. And so this, for college me, especially because it has the pen in your face and all of it, to me, this is the laptop I would have wanted to take to college. Right. A absolutely. If you are, you know, doing media stuff in college, but also have access to the, you know, fully leaded stuff, to me, this is a fantastic device. Right. I'm not sure if that's going to be your only, if you were video specifically, if you're audio, uh, if audio you're, or, or, or photo, photo this, this could, could be your, your primary device. This could be your primary device. But for video specifically, it's you just can't. not quite. The render, I can only, again, I haven't it's used It's not powerful it that, enough. But it, the, I can only imagine that the render times will be horrendous. It's it's just straight up not powerful enough yeah. for that. Well, especially that one's a Core i5 right. versus a Core i7. So speaking of taxing it, what we're going to do now is we're going to tax it. We're going to tax it. Okay, so where's that? Uh, you want the HDMI cable? Yeah, so if There's you'll look HDMI that into cable. your mini display I'm port. I'm going to actually flip this around to make it so all the ports are on the right side. Okay, <laughs> that, that helps. Um. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a double test. One of the things we're going to be testing is it's um, performance as a gaming machine. The other thing we're going to be testing is the new, well, relatively new, new to us, yeah, Steam new, controller. New to us, Steam controller, which okay. is right here. I'm going to go. So let me go ahead and get this thing to boot up and test it on Medieval 2 Total War. Only the newest video games. <laughs> well, okay, so I, I picked, the reason I picked, um, Medieval 2 Total War is because it's an older game. Okay, so it's not... We shouldn't... Come and... Th oh, there... Yes, it is? No, that's still Skylanders. Let's see. You, do you need me to... Uh, I need you to do something. Why am I setting up DirectX? I don't know. Okay. Live demos, folks. So while that's doing that, let's talk through the features of the Steam Controller. Okay. Um, it's still not coming through the system, by the way. I have to... Unfortunately, it's not going to let me... Uh... Okay, hang on. Let's do this. I have to... <laughs> Something happens like this on every show, I swear. I can't, because I have to... What I really want to do is I really want to quit this, because I didn't want to... Okay. okay. Exit program, yes. Quit. I didn't flip the... Um... I didn't change this to project, which yeah, is... Yeah, there uh, it is, project. So we're going to duplicate. duplicate, please. Okay. All right, do you have it now? No, it'll show up on there when we have it. I'm still showing Skylanders. Hang on, it's installing something. Windows features. It's installing Windows. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so it doesn't seem to want to do that. Maybe wait till that finishes installing. Okay, so right, tell me about... Power, just in case. Tell me about, while we're waiting on that, okay, tell me about so the Steam Controller. This is the Steam Controller. Um, it is new to us. I just got it today. Um, oh, I installed .NET Framework 3.5, of course. Um, let's see if I can get this to work now. Um, I'm supposed to just be able to click that and it flips, right? Right, yeah. No, I use that all the time. Maybe that'll help. Ah, hardware problems. Okay. Okay, we're set to duplicate. There we go, and we got it. And we're good, good. okay. Um, 
<laughs> so the Steam controller has two haptic kind of control um, interfaces. Here, I'll hold it like this for better. Okay. Um, so it has two haptic control interfaces, a joystick, and then uh, your typical Xbox 360 yeah. setup, you yeah, know, yeah, the yeah. one that you like as opposed With to the With Y Wii U. is on top. Um, it also Just has me. three buttons on each side, so it has a bumper, a trigger, and then it actually has this as a button Okay, as well. so, so, so similar this, to the Xbox Elite controller. This is kind of a, a button. Um, now, they, they had to do this because when you're using a game that has a, a, a mouse interface and you can actually see, um, if you point it at the screen, you can see... Well, we can, we can actually now take the screen. Yeah, let, let's take it to the screen. Um, and go. Yeah. And, I mean, you can see the mouse moving on the screen. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, you can see the, you can see the mouse so, jumping so, around. So that is completely from the, uh, from the haptic controller on the, on the Steam controller. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch so the, um, Steam. So let me get a talk to you. So the idea of the Steam controller is not to be just another Xbox 360 type controller, but to be able to work for mouse and keyboard type games. Right. Steam is investing in their Steam Box and their Steam OS, this idea that you can PC game from your living room. Because what they've realized is, especially for gamers like me, we don't want to sit at a desk to game. I want to be on a couch. But Steam has, is filled with games that are mouse and keyboard focused. Correct. Like, like the Total War the Total series. War, which is a, a turn-based. Which is a turn-based strategy game. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into my library. Um, and I download. I tried it on Mass Effect. I couldn't get Mass Effect to work. Now that may just be a part of the problem is my um, configuration. So here, I'll go here. And so it pops up and tells you controller configuration is required. So I can go over here to manage game and configure my controller. So it'll show me kind of whatever it is has been, been set up. But I can browse configurations and, to, and choose someone else's configuration. Okay. So 37 people are using whatever... So whatever orientation that, that is. So I'm going to pick that one because the one I tried to set up for myself didn't work. So <laughs> just doesn't work. Um, so I'm just going. I, I kept accidentally um, telling them to retreat when I didn't want them to. So that's not. So we're gonna we're gonna jump right into here. Um, okay. So I've done that, and I'm now going to play my game. Okay. So we're gonna pick. Um, we'll, we'll you pick, have everything. I I have. So I got all the Total Wars on one of the Steam sales because okay. you could buy, I think you could get four of them for like 20 bucks. Oh, wow. And uh, so I played a lot of, in college, I played a lot of Medieval 2 Total War. Okay. Um, which was not new at that time, but it was the... The new... It was the newest. It was okay. the most recent. Yeah, so yeah. it's the one I'm the most familiar with. By the way, this is like, the Total War series is a big part of what keeps Sega afloat. It's the, one of their more successful franchises as Sonic continues to swirl the drain yeah so there Just, was this story this week that they had to cut their profits by like 90 percent uh because mostly because they do the gambling machines in japan oh uh, patchy okay. slots and pachinko and those weren't hitting well because of new japanese regulations around that mm, so okay. they're really uh so did, did i pick two tonic i don't remember i don't remember either okay so i'm i'm gonna do single player okay um and try to remember and we're just going to do a quick battle because, okay. actually, we'll do a historical battle. So I'm going to show on the handheld kind of what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, a little bit um, as the game to see. So, so yeah. So I'm I'm trying to navigate through um, and select these different. So I'm using the right touchpad as a mouse, okay. and I'm clicking kind of with the the right uh, right trigger. Okay. Um, so okay, let's and see. so then, what does the what does the right kind of haptic thing do? Um, it is it is the mouse, and you, I have the haptic feedback set low. But it, as I'm as I'm mousing around, you can actually I mean, let's see if we can. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's this little like clicking noise mm -hmm. and a little haptic feedback it's giving you. So what does the left kind of circling um, thing do? It depends on the game, and, and you can configure that. In this case, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, it'll right-click, so when I'm doing that, you can actually see the, the mouse cursor yeah, right-clicking. Yeah, see it. Um, this is, so this is right-click, this is left-click. Okay. Totally logical, right? Because, you know, this is on the right and this on the... But it's all about this right-handedness, so the hand you, are, you know, are 
used to. Sure. Um, okay, so what side okay, of the, this battle do I want to be on? So I'm going to play the Battle of Hastings. Okay. I'm going to play as the, the Normans. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, and then advice level, they're really annoying. We're going to put them on only vital info. So I got all these these troops, right? And you can see me mousing around. That's all with that right cursor. Now I have not actually successfully completed a a battle with this. And and the battles are where you need to be able to have that kind of ability to pan around the map. Yeah. Um, and so doing something like that. Oh look, casually quoting the, the just war doctrine. It's like the other half of my life. <laughs> it's a. I mean, the total war games are are actually. They're, they're pretty good as far as this, this type of game. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I have jokingly say it's what's keeping Sega afloat, but it's at least keeping Sega afloat for the right reason in that they are good games. And so this is driving two monitors right now, and these are not great graphics, no, let's be clear. I mean, yeah. um, but it's, it's driving it fine. Okay, so I'm going to select... Um, are they advancing? I'm trying to... So here's my problem. I, I can't figure... Okay. It used to be that you could kind of pan without having to uh, move. So this is Medieval 2 Total War? Yeah, Medieval 2 Total War. Okay, I'm just setting the... Okay, so I'm going to advance my troops. And so if, I, if I remember correctly... Tell me about... So there's, there's a way... So tell me about the control scheme. How, so how is it? It's, it's kind of kludgy, if, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, I, I think that if you got used to it, it, it would work, but... Gamers don't like to get used to things. I think that... No, they want total control and total precision so you can pwn your enemies. There's a, there's a way to... So here's, here's one of the problems with trying to do this um, with a controller. So you can select in the normal um, game. I could select like in entire groups. Uh-huh. Um, that sounds useful. But I can't really do that in this. So now i got to figure out... So I can select units and group them. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to click on that group. Why are they not engaging in... They're archers. Am I being attacked or flanked or something? Like, what's going on here? I can't figure out why we're not really attacking. Um, so this is my, my classic strategy. I'm going to take one of my... Uh, Cavalry units, uh -huh. and I'm going to take them through the woods. <laughs> Smart. And I'm going to attack them from the flank. Genius. This actually, this looks. Fun. I've never played a total. I don't. Think yeah. So this is an I old. I haven't played one in a long, long time. This is an old game, um, but it it actually works pretty well. I'm going to speed this up a little bit, so we're not here forever. Um, For me, my uh, my turn based strategy game of choice was the Axis and Allies um, video game series. Obviously, there's the board games. But they released a couple video game versions of it, which were fantastic. Right, let's see if I can get this kind of going. Really captured the game. Um, I used to love playing that. And it's not available anywhere, because it's, again, super obscure and no one cares but me. But I really care. Attack the Huskals on the Saxon flanks. Yep, I'm doing that. Fantastic. Okay, let's select this group. And I mean, it looks like you're able to do the thing. Yeah, I, I'm, I am actually, so unlike Mass Effect, where it just kind of laid an egg on me and was like, nope, you can't do that. Um, this game I am at, la at least able to. Okay, we're going to charge this group right here. I mean, given that in most cases. Attack. So, I mean, let, let, let's envision the scenario. This is your main way of playing video games. Would you be willing to play mouse and keyboard focused games? Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess if you'd never played this... So I'm coming at this from the, the perspective of I have played this as a real video game. Um, as a PC game with a, a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, with a, as a PC game with a mouse and keyboard. Um, all right, let's attack. I was kind of waiting for them to attack me, but... Attack! All right. Mailed heavy cavalry. Okay, I've, I've started now. Run! <laughs> okay, and we're going to take this group and attack. And and attack. And we're going to take this group. So is this real-time or turn-based? I can't tell. This currently is real-time. So okay. 
the Total War games combine real-time and turn-based. Okay. Yeah, it has been a long time since I've played one. So you, you turn-based, move your, your characters around the map. And then you result in a real-time battle? Correct. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so battles are real-time. Okay. Um, you can just kind of... So is there a reason why they're fleeing off into the woods? Because I... Because uh, I, I told them to attack. Um, hang on, let's let's click this group. So are those your people See the who are running off into the woods? No. That's on. That's their people. Okay. Okay. Attack. Attack. I'm gonna end up killing everybody. Attack. I don't know what all these people are doing over here, other than looking at themselves. So are you just bad at this game, or is this the controls? This is partially the controls. Okay. So just one of the things you can thought do... Thought I'd ask. And, and, and this is part of my problem with this, right? So one of the things you can do if you are playing this on a real uh, computer is I can select groups of um, units right. and attack, like okay. based on that group. Um, some of this is, is me trying to get used to these controls. Um, so it looks challenging. Yeah, I don't think I have the difficulty set particularly high. All right, now we're now we're cooking with oil. All right, we're just going to speed this up and see what happens. <laughs> so it has kind of Sims-ish speed up mechanic. Attack! So you see that little flag right there? Mm -hmm. That's someone that's fleeing. That's actually one of my groups. So I lost. I got crushed. <laughs> I see that. But to be fair, he brought a thousand more men to the field. <laughs> Are you able to specify that? Or are you just coming in as... Um, so I picked a historical battle. Right. So I had to play by whatever rules the historical battle comes okay. up with. Okay. Um, th there are other choices. You can go back and do a custom battle. Um, this is just to try to get into it quickly. Okay, so um, to kind of... To, to but you can also hear this thing is running like yeah. as, as hard as it can, really. Yeah, and so to kind of close out our time, um, so I'll pose you a similar question about the uh, Steam controller as opposed to about the Surface Book. So that's a, what, a $60 piece of hardware? This is a $50 piece of hardware. It comes it? with the wireless dongle. Um, so we were playing wirelessly. Um, here's the wireless dongle. Um, okay with its little extender. Yeah. Um, so, I, I guess I have, I, have a, I have issues with the Steam controller. So, what for, issues? For doing things that are normally controller based, I think that it's not, it's not what I want because sure. I'm used to a certain level of, a, you have a um, 360 controller over here. I do, so, yes. So if we look at these two I side by side. I often am just side, sitting on a 360 um, controller. You can see that the 360 controller has these nice joysticks that stick out and the D-pad that sticks out. It gives you that tactile feedback. Um, nice big buttons. Um, the Steam controller has kind of tiny little buttons. And yeah, here we can do a side-by-side -side, um, of these two. So Oh yeah, those are, those are really like, small. When you, when you look at them side-by-side, -side, you can see that they're tiny little buttons. They've got these big pads because you need that for the accuracy of the mouse. Right. Um, this, I think, is totally pointless. I don't know why you would do this, other than the controller would look weirdly off balance without it. Okay, no. um, it doesn't look great as it is. I, I mean, the, the stick just doesn't, I mean, it just doesn't work as well as I have become used to game controllers. Um, it, it's fairly comfortable, I'll give it that, but all in all, I, I wouldn't, I'm probably gonna return it. Okay. Um, I don't think that it is, I think that in a time when console gaming is so good, yep, so and that good. This is something that's trying to push people into doing more gaming with a PC and selling PCs with this controller, because now you have access to the entire Steam library. Whereas in so many PC games now just use the controller. I mean, right. they're, they're, you're, you well, have the same the game best... coming out on console that you have coming out on PC. And so I, there's a great controller interface for Fallout uh, because that's how I'm playing Fallout on the Xbox One. Because the best controller for years was the Xbox 360 controller 
for Windows. Yeah. Because it was this that came with a wireless dongle right. that would connect to... Mm -hmm. And I, I actually have one. That's how I have an Xbox 360 controller is because I was using the wireless dongle to connect to my gaming PC. Yeah. And that was a very... Like, I played it with Tomb Raider, um, the, the most recent Tomb Raider before the... Uh, before the current one. The current one. Um, so I just... I don't... I'm not convinced that this is the answer. So like, you're more than not convinced. You don't think this is the answer. You I, don't like it. That's true. I don't like it. So, I, there we go. We, we reached an actual conclusion. Yeah. Um, and we'll leave it there. Uh, if you liked what you saw... Uh, Feel free to follow us or like us or something. Whatever the YouTube. Tweet do the, us. Do the YouTube things. Um, leave comments. Uh, if you are an avid Steam controller defender, apparently you're wrong. Please let us know so I can tell you you're wrong. Yeah, um, great. Because you're wrong. It's a way to, I really like the way you engage the fans there. We're going to go. Um, yeah. You don't want me to tell them they're wrong? They're all wrong. Just, this is YouTube, Jimmy. You can't say things like that. Sure you can. No.